What is going on today guys? Today we are going to be looking at the iPhone 13 Pro Max and today we're going to be looking at is the iPhone 13 Pro Max too heavy as a smartphone? Let's get it right into it. All right guys, so I wanted to personally, I wanted to personally welcome you to the channel today. My name is Justin, and here at The Digital Life, we give you guys the best reviews, thoughts on tech, and how-to tutorials based all around technology. So if you guys are new here, consider subscribing. We do weekly videos, so stay tuned for more. Today's video is gonna be based all around the 13 Pro Max. It is the flagship phone of 2021. Um, and as the new year, the 2021 comes to an end, I thought I'd make a video kind of just going over the 13 Pro Max because I think for such a big smartphone, 6.7 inch display, a commonly asked question could be, is it too heavy? And here we're gonna find out. So I was given the opportunity to have the phone for about four months just as a review purpose device. And I was lucky enough to kind of play around with it, kind of experience it day-to-day -day usage, do my day-to-day -day activities, things like that, and really understand, is this phone too big, too heavy? It is the biggest iPhone and technically the heaviest iPhone that has ever been made. So I feel like it begs the question of, is it the phone for the average consumer? Today, we're gonna to be looking at the actual specs and I will be doing some references to the 12 Pro Max just to give you guys a heads up if you guys are on a 12 Pro Max. I'm um, not gonna go really into the 10 Pro, the 10S Max or anything like that, just because that's kind of outdated and that's not really what we're talking about today. So for a six point inch display, 6.7 inch display, someone could say, it's a huge phone, is it too big for the hand, things like that. The 12 Pro Max, guys, comes in at a weight of 8.03 ounces. The 13 Pro Max is 8.46 ounces. They do both have the same size display. What this means is that in your hand, technically speaking, length and how much the hand is, the phone is taking up in your hand are gonna be identical. What the really big difference is, is gonna be the density and this phone feeling in your hand. So as far as like form factor goes, it is gonna be a thicker phone just by a tad. The depth is 0.1 inch difference, but that's not what we're talking about today. However, I do think that it kind of ties into how the phone feels in the hand because a thicker phone, bigger camera, all these kinds of things go into play when making a decision, in my opinion, about whether to buy a phone because we use these phones all day and saying to yourself, well, I'll get used to it, things like that is super fair, but today we're looking at, is it too heavy? So as I was using the phone, it is a beautiful phone. You really can't get past that. The phone looks great, feels great, temporarily, momentarily, all these kinds of things. But at 8.46 ounces and 240 grams, what I did notice is that the phone is, in my opinion, a two-handed phone about 50% of the time. When you're texting, things like that, using the internet, watching videos, I found it very difficult to have this phone one-handed as hand fatigue and just feeling kind of like what is in my hand. It was bulky and it felt like there was too much at certain times. For me personally, when taking photos, videos, things like that, doing simple small tasks that take 30 seconds to a minute, things like that were kind of a no brainer and just felt great because the phone has a beautiful display and it just feels premium in the hand. There's no getting around that. The added weight helps it feel premium, but it helps it feel like you just bought a really nice phone and there's like a lot packed in there, which I think is super cool and is definitely something to consider. Where I really felt the weight though, guys, and I really, that's why I made this video was that when you're texting, doing the internet, um, on Safari, doing videos, playing games, it looks great. The screen looks great and I cannot say that enough, but for me personally, the phone felt cumbersome and it felt like I was getting tired of holding it for long periods of time. Especially if you're someone who has a bulky case, which I would not recommend, I would suggest going with something like a clear, lightweight case. But if you are someone who goes after MagSafe, keep in mind MagSafe adds weight because there's a magnet in the case. Guys, you probably came to this video looking for an answer on if you should buy the 13 Pro Max. And my final answer and my final opinion, and this is just totally my opinion, is that I would say it specifically comes down to what you have, what you're used to, and what you're willing to learn and adapt to. If you're someone coming from an iPhone 10 or 11 Pro or 11 or one of those 6.1 inch displays, 
um, that quite frankly is a very light phone and easy to hold and you know even with a case it just kind of fits into your pop, pop, pocket perfectly and there's not really much bulk to it. If you're coming from that then I definitely pump the brakes. It's This is probably going to be something you're going to have to adapt to and maybe that's something you're willing to do but for some people who have a busy lifestyle and aren't really willing to go through the motions of kind of adapting to that and figuring out how to work and using two hands on their phone and learning how to deal with a heavy phone, I would say I wouldn't go for it, guys. Um, potentially upgrade to a 12 Pro Max if you want something that's a little bit lighter, or the 11 Pro Max is actually a really great resource to think about because the 11 Pro Max actually has a, a 6.5 inch display and it's actually a lighter phone. What this means is that the display is actually smaller, so it fits in your hand a little bit better and it is on the lighter side compared to the 12 Pro Max or even the 13 Pro Max. So I hope you guys felt this was a helpful video. Go ahead and put in the comments what you guys are thinking. Whether you're a big phone, small phone, I don't really care. It's really up to you guys and I try to save you guys money um, by giving you guys reviews that help you guys make a decision before having to go out and spend the money and even return or just waste your time doing that stuff. So go ahead and put in the comments down below what you guys are thinking. Maybe you own the 13 Pro Max and you love it and that's awesome and I'm really happy for you. Or maybe you agree and maybe you're like, hey, I stick with the small phones because I like it. And maybe you're a mini kind of person. I think the mini is a cool phone. Um, I, I'll be doing a video on that shortly, uh, just addressing if it's still worth buying after the 13s came out um, because I, I'm, it'll be a, a review on the 12 mini. Uh, but minis are definitely a good phone for people who like that small form factor. And these days, if battery life's a huge issue, some people are okay with just plugging in their phone constantly, and that's fine too. We have fast charging. So overall, guys, this is just from the Digital Life, and I really hope you guys got something out of this video, uh, because at the end of the day, I do make these. The Digital Life makes you guys videos to help you guys make the best buying decision, thoughts on text, and tutorial for how to do things all around technology. See you later.